All right, the straw weights are just about ready to go. This tale of the tape is brought to you by Modelo Especial, brew with the fighting spirit since 1925. Poliana Viana is 26, JJ Aldrich 25. Both fighters five foot five inches tall. Both fighters made weight. JJ Aldrich with the slight reach advantage. All right, now for the introductions back inside to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a striker holding a professional record, six wins, two losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds, fighting out of Westminster, Colorado, J.J. Aldridge. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist, holy professional record, 10 wins, one loss. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Gerardo, do Araguaia, para Brazil, Paliana, Dava de Ferro, Viana! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Main card only for Herb Dean tonight. He's our referee for this one. Vanessa Hansen, thank you very much. Poliana Viana got a nod from Dana White after her UFC debut. That was a rear naked choke win in round one against Maya Stevenson. But she said, I know I can be better. Had an easier weight cut this time around. Let's see how it plays out. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Modelo Especial. Brew with the fighting spirit since 1925. J.J. Aldrich in the black trunks. Poliana Viana is in white. Poliana Viana said this time she'd be a lot smaller when she stepped into the octagon. She said last time she weighed 142 and she felt too heavy. She said she'd be 10, 12 pounds over this time when she went to the fight. And noticeably, she's leaner. Viana training out of Tata fight team on Herald at camp in Brazil. Otavio Duarte and Philip Lima, staples in her corner. A stick by Viana. Now Aldrich will try to close the distance. She's got a very unusual stance. So she keeps her left hand low, right hand up high. Very light on her feet. And JJ Aldrich trying to close that distance, trying to get a sense of the timing. It's just a different look, right? It's a different look and feel. You gotta understand that before you can start to fully commit to your attacks. And you see JJ Aldrich doing that. JJ Aldrich looking for the clinch, which is really. Uh, not recommended. Why would you take this fight to the ground, you know? But yeah, I think you know she probably just wanted to figure out how to get out of that position. They got close to each other, but now she finds herself clamped down by an alligator because Pollyanna has an extremely strong ground game, and she landed a beautiful judo throw in the last fight too against Maya Stevenson to start the decline of the fight for Maya, and she's holding tight onto that overhook. Because she'll try to step across to load onto her hips and throw her to get the fight to the ground. 21 state jiu-jitsu titles in her native Pará for Poliana Viana. Feels like she's three or four fights away from challenging there the elite. There it is. She crossed over with the leg, threw the hip into it. Aldrich first got offered this fight on two weeks' notice to fight Viana in Brazil. She didn't feel like she could make weight. Had a full camp underneath her in advance of this one. And said the first four to five weeks were just running and conditioning to get herself in shape for a training camp. Interesting that Aldrich is making no effort to disengage. And that she's holding on to this clinch and staying tight to her. She must be very confident in her defense and in her ground game as well. And maybe perhaps she thought she would take Pollyanna by surprise by doing this. Other than that, I can't see a reason why she would do this. No, but I think maybe it's the maybe it's just a different type of striking that Pollyanna's given her on the outside that is causing her a little bit of concern. Because for Aldrich, she's generally a lot better whenever she's out at range and kind of dictating the pace and the way that the fight is contested. But she wasn't able to do that. Vienna's throwing a lot of high kicks, moving around, in awkward, moving around in awkward positions, so she may feel a little bit safer in the clinching. It's also how they match up as well. Orthodox to JJ's southpaw. 
that it opens her up to that kick. Oh, she tagged her. Aldridge just tagged her with that right hand, right on the jaw. And Viana landed a right hand of her own. Now a nice kick to the body. Yeah, there's that kick we were talking about. Because of the fact their stances are reversed, it really opens up that back leg kick. And that's the lead hand for, for Aldridge. Aldridge needs to fight behind the, the left now. She needs to be throwing lead left hands and keeping her right foot on the outside of Pauliana Viana so that she can just line her up and then score with the lead left hand over and over again. Aldrich very technical, but she can be overpowered. She's held up pretty well in the clinch thus far tonight. Under a minute now to go round one. It's amazing to think Viana's fighting on a UFC pay-per-view tonight, given where she was in her career not all that long ago, spending money to train in different cities. She was going to walk away from fighting. Look at that. She didn't. She's trying to jump on a guillotine. Well, she's starting to adjust her body up. She's got to adjust her body up. She doesn't oh, have nice. her legs. Yep. But now she's in full guard. And let's see how she attacks off of her back. She's got the overhook. If she's got the overhook on that side, she may try to get that left leg up and over the top. Let's see how she attacks. We've got to see what kind of offensive game she has off her back. But JJ's doing a good job of keeping her face, keeping her forehead rather right, right in Pollyanna's face. And keeping her hips square. She's not allowing Pollyanna to get no angle with her hips. Every time Pollyanna starts to try to shrimp and get to the side, JJ just covers her hips and stays in the middle. She's going for an omoplata. Oh. JJ has an outstanding jiu-jitsu coach, Tony Basile. I hope I'm getting his name right, but he doesn't get enough credit. Tonight's Corner Camp brought to you by Body Armor. Make the switch to Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC. Try their new UFC flavor, Octagon Orange, exclusively available at 7-Eleven. Breathe. Your head position, excellent, all right? You got the fangs going, all right? You're fainting, and you're throwing one, all right? When she moves, you know that she's gonna count the shots. She's looking for the right kick, bite on it, get her to flinch on it, all right? You're throwing one, I need two and three, all right? But after you throw one, just touch, just touch, just touch. Then say boom, boom, boom. Make sure you frame off, change your steps, just put your hands on it. Doing excellent. Come on, try to kick her a little bit higher. That's what you have to do. Aí você vai Get it hard, she's going to go back. Try to take her down again. Try to kick her down again. Let's go after the kick. Come on, let's go after the kick. She's trying to get walk into her straight. Come on, let's go after the kick. Come on, let's go after Ariane Celeste getting us started for round two here of this strawweight tilt. Poliana Viana, minus 160 betting favorite coming in. J.J. Aldrich coming back at plus 130. Aldrich lands a right hand. Yeah, she's very susceptible to that right jab. Uh, I would like to Aldrich to stick that out there more because Poliana's got her chin straight up in the air. It's way up there. Way up there. And she's not holding her right hand up in front of her face. She's keeping it right below her chin, and her left arm is down by her hip. And she doesn't react when JJ starts to attack. She doesn't do a good job of reacting when Aldridge takes the lead. It looks like her kicks are good, but it looks like she came from a traditional martial arts background in, in terms of like, the way she throws her strikes. It doesn't look like the like, boxing style striking with her hands. Aldrich. Trying to set up that right hand counter. The, the openings are there for Aldrich in these exchanges because Pollyanna's hand techniques are the most rudimentary aspect of her game. I mean, just the idea of her keeping her hand down there like that. Like, you're not Tommy Hearns, honey. What's the. <laughs> you got to try to think what's the point of it, you know? She's well, obviously feeling like there's some benefit to her fighting in that way, you know? Yeah, perhaps. One good thing about that is you don't see where the jab's coming from. Yes. But she's yes. not really throwing it. No. And it could also be like Robert Whitaker used that very well to stuff uppercuts early in his career. Fought a lot with his hands lower. So I, I, I thought that maybe we had found a reason why she was fighting like that, but then that theory's been disproven pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Much improved strength from J.J. Aldrich here in the clinch. Well, if I was JJ, this is not where I would want to take this fight because she did get taken down earlier. And one of the things when they did go to the ground, when Pollyanna was on her back, she put her in danger before the end of the round. Yes, she did have her in danger there with that over plot a little bit. And you could see that JJ just didn't respond as quickly as you'd want to. Right. Pat Barry was happy though. He was happy with the head position in the clinch. 
and he was happy that she was controlling these types of positions. But they're still very dangerous for JJ. Oh, nice right hand by JJ. Yeah, it seems like Pollyanna's using her left to just sort of measure the distance. And then the right is what she's trying to land. Oh. Oh, but she's game. A good kick to the body there by Pollyanna. Aldridge starting to pick up the volume a little bit here. She gets cracked there by the straight right of Viana. Oh, Aldridge with the left hand. She got some respect there. She did. She stunned her with that. Viana has never been stopped in 11 pro fights coming in. Viana's landing those body kicks. Her coaches wanted that kick a little bit higher. Than you know, Viana's having a lot of success. She's forcing the type of fight she needs. A technical striking battle benefits J.J. Aldridge. Right now, Viana is forcing her into an uglier, dirtier fight where they're just standing there and striking and exchanging. That's the fight J.J. won, where she's out on, at her range, fighting behind the jab, and just really kind of outpointing. I think J.J. can take away a lot of what Pollyanna's doing, but with a simple step to the right. Ooh. She's stepping into that power kick, and she's stepping into that right hand. But if she stepped to the right, very little is coming off of the left side of Pollyanna. Oh, there's a nice jab by JJ. Viana has eaten some pretty significant shots here in this second round. More often than not, though, it's one and done for Aldrich. Not much in terms of combinations. Aldrich continue to put the pressure on her, though. Good kick to the body. She's landed a few of these, you know, and, and we saw it earlier. Maybe it would benefit her if she has that skill. Oh, nice oh, level change. Beautiful. Oh, now oh. we're going to get to see her game. Now we see what she's capable of. She's pulling her back into the... Look at that. Got the hook in quickly. JJ's trying to shrimp out, trying to reverse the position, but she's rolling right over with her, staying on top of her. Pollyanna, just, you can see immediately when they're going to the ground, like this is where her skill set lies. I mean, this is a tight ground game. You see her pressuring down with that left shin and instep. She's going to slide that right leg out, make full mount, or oh, attack the arm, yep. or attack the arm. But no, 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 she's safe. Nice job by JJ. JJ. Way to react. Way to Very respond. nicely done by JJ. JJ has got to step over that right knee, get through it put pressure on that right knee and continue to pass through with that left leg and then shift those hips and get that right leg out of there. But she avoided the danger, got out of the bad situation, and she's ending the round on top, which is huge. So Poliana Viana finally gets her first takedown of the fight on her fourth attempt. J.J. Aldrich, no worse for wear. It actually worked out well for J.J. Yep. I mean, I, I feel she got the better of that exchange. Right here you see the left hand of J.J. Aldrich, finally fo followed by the right hand, then another left straight. When they're punching in combination, J.J. Aldrich has been the one that has landed the cleaner shots when they come together. Right here, fade back, boom, another left hand lands on Pauliana Viana. Now, Pauliana Viana, as the round went on, beautiful level change into a double leg, swings her down to the ground, and immediately jumps on the backpack. She's very good on the bottom, and it may benefit her to try to attack this takedown a little bit earlier in round three. She's trying to back herself into the cage. Ready? Get this out, Five minutes. Five minutes. Third and final round. Brittany Palmer in the building here tonight at Staples Center in Los Angeles. J.J. Aldrich getting her first pay-per-view showcase. The same can be said for her Brazilian counterpart, Poliana Viana. Just rolls off the tongue, DC. Poliana Viana. Third and final round here. Aldrich in the black trunks and lands one early round three. Poliana, as her career moves forward, has got to fix that. Yes. Her chin is straight up near, the right there again. Every strike she takes clean on. Because even when she's throwing, she sticks her chin up. Yeah. And, and just her ability to move with the strikes. She just really doesn't seem to understand what to do when they're coming her way. She doesn't roll with them. She just takes them on the chin, literally. A little bit of a telegraph on that entry from Viana. But if you're team, reset. Sorry, DC. I'm sorry, John, but if you're Team Viana, you, you like that she's trying to chase that takedown a little bit earlier in the round. 
But that's what I would want from the beginning. I mean, I think that's really where her strength. Oh, nice. JJ just stung her. Hey, it's going to work again. Mike Gonzalez and crew enjoyed that in the corner of JJ Aldrich. She continues to advance here and back up Viana. Paula freezes up when JJ moves in. Like right there. Just locks up in anticipation. Yes. Pollyanna looks like. There you go. That's smart. Yeah. That's better than what was happening on the feet. Yes. Generally, you don't want to see a fighter pull guard, but you, to get her into your area of fighting, that's better than what was happening on the feet. Right. And a fighter like her pulling guard, this is probably one of her best opportunities to score here. She's trying to control the posture. She's gonna pull her legs up. This work. JJ's doing a really good job of keeping her arms tight, managing position, not leaving anything loose for Viana to attack. Immediately following the main event, don't miss a recap of all of tonight's action on the UFC 227 post-fight show on FS1, streaming live on the Fox Sports app. And if you're watching in Canada, you can see it on TSN. She keeps pushing on that right arm of JJ, but she's not doing anything about it. She's got to lift her legs up. Work. I mean, she's... She's literally just holding on here. She's got her opportunity. She pulled guard, but now she's not doing anything with it. Herb's going to stand him up. He may very well, and it might be a good idea. With 2.22 to go, she's got to do something. right? She's got to be trying to force an arm bar, trying to force something that leads into something else, some kind of counter. She's There's just trying work. to get wrist control. There's no submission there. J.J. Aldridge is doing a phenomenal job of staying real tight, staying real, real close. No long limbs, nothing long, everything short. She's doing a really good job. These little punches from the bottom aren't going to hurt J.J. Aldridge. As long as she doesn't extend anything, she should be fine. Yeah, well, her Dean's well aware of when someone is and isn't in danger. And she's trying to lift her legs up higher, but it doesn't look like she has the dexterity or the ability to do it right now. She keeps trying to clamp down on the right arm, but J.J.'s not gonna have that. Very smart by Aldridge. Yeah. And this is a fatigued Pauliana that you're dealing with here, too. I just don't think she has the gas tank anymore. Nice oh, I mean, that's, that's the third time that that punch has landed, John. Yeah, Pauliana is going to have a headache tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Very closely matched in terms of the significant strikes landed as we come up on the final minute of this fight. Not a lot of margin for error at 115 pounds. Aldrich resets back to the center. Viana just has been way out of range on a lot of these attempts. Yeah, it's very, very rudimentary. Like, her striking is not very good. She seems so green, you know I mean? And, and it's still early in her career. She doesn't have a very good gauger of where she is in the octagon. She's just kind of throwing punches without an idea of what she's truly trying to do. If I was in JJ's corner, I would be asking her to pour it on now. Because yeah. Pollyanna hasn't really shown to be a threat anymore on the ground, particularly when she was in her guard. And JJ's the one who's been scoring with the hand techniques. Right. And Pollyanna also looks like she's fading. Well, right, the body language, oh. not a great look down the stretch as Aldrich lands again. She landed a lot of these body kicks, though. Viana's landed a lot of body kicks there. That was probably the best strike that she landed over the course of the fight. That was her money strike. The betting line on this fight, if you care, moved more than any other fight on this card. Money coming in on J.J. Aldrich. It closed a lot shorter than it opened. Let's take a look back at the action. And here's the kick of Pollyanna, and then a right hand from Aldrich. And there's a nice right hand from Aldrich, a big jab. And here's a counter left hand that really snapped her head back. Left hand by Aldrich. J.J. Aldrich came in with back-to-back -back wins over Chan B. Jung. That was last June, and then in January, she outpointed Danielle Taylor. 
We'll see if Aldridge did enough to make it three consecutive UFC wins or Pauliana Viana extended her winning streak to seven. In this her second UFC appearance. A valuable 15 minute learning experience either way for both of these up and coming strawweight prospects, 25 and 26 years old respectively. And if indeed Viana has done enough to win, it will be the first decision victory of her now 12 fight mixed martial arts career. All right, looks like Bruce Buffer's making his way inside the octagon. The official decision is brought to you by Metro PCS. Get knockout coverage of the UFC on a network that covers 99% of people in the US. Bruce Buffer now with those scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29-28, 29-28, and 29-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, J.J. Aldridge. All right, I'm here with the winner, J.J. Aldrich. First of all, J.J., congratulations on your victory. You weren't afraid to clinch with her, knowing that she was a jiu-jitsu champion. You fought very well on your feet, but one of the more surprising aspects of the fight was that you initiated a clinch several times. Yeah, um, she's an amazing jiu-jitsu person, so I didn't want to get too anxious on the ground and move, slip up. She has like 10 finishers in a row on the ground, so just had to play it smart, be me, um, you know. She's a tough girl. She was holding on to me a lot in the clinch, so I could really break and throw as much as I wanted to, but hey, I got the win, and I just fucking won in the Staples Center, you guys. You did. <laughs> Congratulations. She had a very awkward style standing up. Did, did that throw your timing off at all? Yeah, a little bit. Um, I wish I would have been able to get off, um, just get started a little bit earlier, but once I found my rhythm, I felt a lot better. Congratulations, JJ. We look forward to seeing you again. JJ Aldridge, ladies and gentlemen.